White House stalls ethanol expansion in Midwest amid price concerns. Reuters The White House is stalling action on requests by Farm Belt states to allow regional sales of gasoline. Nay blended with higher volumes of ethanol after oil industry warnings that the move could cause reggae. Onal supply disruptions and price spikes, according to two sources familiar with the matter. The decision underscores concerns within President Joe Biden's administration over fuel prices, as O. Opinion polls show inflation in the economy as key vulnerabilities for his 2024 re-election bid. Governor Below are your comments. Only thing ethanol has done is make fuel economy worse therefore increasing gas consumption. A big political ploy to get votes and make more money for giant farms. Ethanol destroys engines as it is. Food corn should be raised not fuel corn. We cannot eat our cars to survive. Same amount of time in the field to till. Same amount of water, fertilizer, and pesticide application. End costs. Dot and the difference is cost of seed and the end use of the corn. 44% of corn production is used for ethanol, 45% is used for livestock and 10% used for human consum. PTION and one-third of that is used for high fructose corn syrup. It takes three gallons of water to make one gallon of ethanol. The whole thing was just a subsidy for corn. Producing states. Ethanol the dream fuel of the people who make small engine carburetors. This stuff gums them up very quickly, even during the summer season. It's not enough to run them dry for the winter. And to what end? To deplete Midwest soil with monoculture? It's time to bleep this program altogether. Ethanol destroys motor vehicle engines. Fact. And without government price supports to big agribusinesses, it wouldn't be cost effective either. And since when in anybody really interested in air quality? If they were, they would go electric. Next news. Biden's clean energy agenda faces mounting headwinds. Reuters. Cancelled offshore wind projects, imperiled solar factories, fading demand for electric vehicles. A year after passage of the largest climate change legislation in U.S. History, meant to touch off a boom in American clean energy development, economic realities are fray. Ing President Joe Biden's agenda. Soaring financing and materials costs, unreliable supply chains, delayed rulemaking in Washington and de-sluggish permitting have wrought havoc ranging from offshore wind developer Orsted's Project C. Below are your comments. As with all things that our government does, they will just keep throwing money at it until the prop. Er people get obscenely rich, then quietly shut it down and move on to the next crisis that trillion s of dollars will solve, but never does. This is proof that you can't force clean energy projects into reality when the market for them doesn't. T exist. It's another great waste of taxpayers' money in the failed government of the Biden administration. If there are as many clean energy enthusiasts out there as the left leaning media suggests, the mark. It would be driving these projects and options and government mandates and taxpayer funding wouldn't be necessary. 
It has nothing to do with clean energy, but everything to do with the redistribution of wealth and a massing control. Global climate warming change is the great boogeyman and snake oil of the 21st century. Next news. We're not here to talk about fights, drama in Congress is starting to spill over. Business Insider. Tensions in Congress are rising to the point that lawmakers are close to throwing hands. Below are your comments. Old Republican Party is gone, and it is never coming back, Trump. Just like he said, the once P. Rowd Grand Old Party who stood for decency, honesty, integrity and the people is no more. Now it is. The party of Trump and his worshippers such as Graham, McConnell, Green. Republicans, the party of Jesus, family values and character. I think these fights are pro forma. It is really just a new way of raising campaign funds, and it is embarrassing. This is why we have a sergeant at arms in the house, that person should be enforcing decorum. Back to the days of things being settled by duels. Let's go. Dot. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.